Today's edition of Chopsticks, we'll learn how to prepare a dish from South China's Hainan province, Dongshan lamb. Now, you shouldn't miss the chance to learn how to treat yourself to this delicious dish on today's Chopsticks. So, um, we've made the Hainan chicken, okay? And uh, we're going to make another fantastic Hainan dish, right? So, what is that? That would be the Dongshan lamb. Dongshan lamb. Yeah. Okay, we're learning all about Hainan food. So we're going to be cooking Dongyang... Dongshan. Dongshan lamb. Dongshan lamb. Yeah. Okay, so what makes this particular for the Hainan region? Mm. Uh, it grows on a Dongshan mountain, and this mountain is famous for its rocky pastures and everything. So this lamb, when it's still young, starts to learn to maneuver around these rocky pastures. And basically the meat is very tender, so... Uh, when it comes to you, the lamb is the skin color is black, amazingly. Yep. But uh, it has got a very succulent meat, and instead of braising for a normal like lamb, bake for about two hours. All you need is fifteen minutes. Why don't we just start cooking now? If we don't have these little lambs that we can cook, we could use normal lamb, couldn't we? Yes, but it wouldn't be the good. same. Not as good. All right then. Well, forget about it. Let's just learn about Hainan food today. So let's go and cook. Sure. Let's go. Okay, so there's quite a lot of ingredients yep. here. Okay, so I've got an idea. You teach me how to do it, so I will cook everything for this dish. Okay. okay. First, you have the fermented bean curd. Yeah. So a bean paste. Yeah. Uh, seafood sauce. Yeah. Uh, sweet sauce. The oyster sauce. Oyster right? sauce. Oyster sorry. sauce. I can and see that. In sweet, sauce. sweet sauce. Okay, cool. Yep. So what uh, do I do first then? Okay, first what you do is uh, turn this on. Turn. This is really cool wok you've got here. Okay, so what yep. do I do? Uh, okay. So what you do is you add some. What is this? Oil. Oil. Yep. Ah. Okay. Okay. Let's add some oil in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and slowly, ingredient by ingredient from this first row. Yes. Let's add it in. Okay. Starting from all of it. Um, no. Just, just a little yeah, bit. Just a little bit. Okay. So like that, enough. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, a teaspoon of that. Oh, that's quite. Hmm. Smells good. That actually. Yep. Okay. That. Okay. That. Okay. One. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And a final one. Yep. Mm. Okay. 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 So just give it a stir. Okay. Give it a bit of a stir around. Mix it all up. Once okay. that is stirred up, you just add yes. in the second form of bean curd. Okay. And mm -hmm. this is also like a um, preserved bean yep. curd, isn't it? I'm just going to pop that to the side. Just again a spoonful. Just again a spoonful. Okay. Of that flavour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a what's this? No, a teaspoon of peanut butter. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Some sesame paste. Sesame paste. Yep. Mm. Oh, that's nice. We use that in hot pot, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mix it around. Yep, mix it around. Do a nice big mix, mix, mix. So this is a, quite a thick, sort of nice, mm -hmm. quite flavoursome sauce. Flavoursome sauce to help. Wow, it's really <laughs> yeah, sort of foaming up, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that looks good. It smells very fragrant in the peanut sauce, and I think that um, preserved tofu has got really good smell That's, to it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, after this, what is... Then. Now this is the lamb you're saying, and, and yep. you can see it actually does have black skin. Yep, it does have black it's skin. It's like here, you can see it. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, cool. Okay, so once that is... Sort of ready. Ready. Okay, this has been already pre-blanched. Pre-blanched, okay, yep. so that means it's been put into hot boiling water. Hot boiling water, scald it about uh, two, three minutes. Once you see the scum coming out, yep. lift it off the water, throw away the water. Yep, and, and you then go. you've got this. Yep. Okay, cool. So it's not completely cooked through, it's not but completely. it's just blanched. As you okay. can see, yep. Okay. Let's add those in. Wow. Black skin. It's so funny that it's black skin. Yep. Okay. How's that look? Okay. It's enough? Yeah, it's enough. I'm still trying to get used to this big spoon, huh? This, this spoon is not so easy. This spatula is quite big. <laughs> it should be like this, doing it. You said it's all about the showmanship. Yep. <laughs> the Kung Fu. Okay. How's that looking? Okay. Once this is all 
you have to fry it for about another few minutes. Yes. Okay, once that is all settled. Yes. What you do is you add your water. Water? Yep. So is this like a, a stew yeah, kind of a, thing? It's a stew chicken. It's yeah. a stew? Yep. Ah, huh. Okay, cool. Sorry. So I keep, is that about sort of... Uh, just a while more. So once you reach this stage, yep. what do you do? Just add in the water. Okay. Just enough to cover the lamb. Okay. Okay, and yep. then now we start to add in the aromatic garnishes. Okay. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm. Bay leaf. leaf. And then a clove, but not too much because the clove is very strong. You might overpower the lamb. Okay, so just a Ooh. little bit of it. Okay. A bit of ginger. Bit of ginger. Mm -hmm. And three cloves of garlic. Okay. Okay, okay so we basically just keep cooking that. So, how long do we cook this? Uh, this has to be braised for the next 15 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes? Yeah. Ah, ah, okay, so it's quite a while then. It's quite a while, but it's less compared to the Australian lamb where you actually need to braise it for two hours. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, okay, so once that's finished, are we pretty much ready to present it? Yeah, pretty much with just a few more vegetables. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to take 45 minutes, so I'm going to go and see what my daughter's doing. All right, sure. All right, so I'll come back in 45 minutes and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, cool. Awesome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you going? Mm. I've just been at the kids' playground mm -hmm. and it is awesome. The kids are all having fun there. It's good, yep. good stuff. Wow. So is this what we were cooking before? I mean, there's no, there's no juice or soup in it. Look at the lamb. The lamb has just turned red, hasn't it? Yep. That's together with the fermented bean cut and everything going in slowly. The juices of that, the lamb sucking yep. it up. Yeah. So, so I would imagine then that cooking this dish, you would not want to put a lid on it. No, just slowly. So that gentle heat. Yep. It's sort of um, uh, the steam and that comes off and it reduces. Okay. So what do we do with this now? Okay. Just after this, just lift this aside. Okay. Okay. Okay, and put this new wok on. Yeah. And now we're going to saute some vegetables. Oh, up. okay. Yep, any sort of like peppers, uh, island chili. Yep, yep. yep. Okay, so touch of oil. Touch of oil. Oil. It's up really fast. What have you got here? Garlic? Garlic, some uh, island chilies, some peppers. Island and some chilies. Meat. Are yeah. they really spicy? They're not actually, they're more sweet actually over really? in this island. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, do you want me to throw it in then? Yep, just okay. the whole lot in. Just slowly pieces. fry this yeah. and just mix out a few pieces of ginger. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No vegetables problem. flying <laughs> everywhere. Now with these vegetables, do we want to cook it all the way through or is it just sort of to heat it up? Just slightly under. Because just what you're going to do, you're going to add that back into the lamb. Oh, okay. I'm going to thicken up those natural juices. Okay, yeah. okay. So you first want to cook it a little bit. Yeah, yeah I see. Okay, once that's okay. so slightly under. Think? You're going to put that on? Yep. You I'm put that there? there and I'll and dip this, it in? Just, yeah, just slide the vegetables over. Okay. There. Okay. Okay, just let it slightly uh, heat, heat up. Heat up. Okay. Yeah. Looks nice because the thing is that the mutton is quite uh, sort of a stodgy sort of food and the red in it is very dark and sort of yeah. wintry. But by putting these vegetables in it just tends to sort of lighten it all lighten up, doesn't it? give it a bit more tropical flavour. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So there is a lot of soup here still mm. in it. I'll try it. There's none of that lamby sort of thick sort of muttony sort of yep. flavour to it. It's just got a very light sort of very mild but tasty flavour. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Okay. okay, and yep. so once you see that, just add in one yep. tablespoon just to thicken up the sauce. Okay, so I just want to okay. mix it, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. And so what that's thicken up, the final touches is the sprinkling of green onions. Yeah. This is delicious. Whoa. I wish I could buy lamb like that all the time, huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. 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 Once you're done, let's So how are you it. presenting? Ah, in a pot? Yep, in a little clay okay, pot. I'll turn this off. So it doesn't burn. Okay, do you want me to? Yep, just spoon it spoon over. Spoon it in. Oh. And you're done. 
And then, just and then we're done. Yep, you put the lid on it and you take yes. it out and yep. voila. 